The Sun, Our Nearest Star by Franklin M. Branley and illustrated by Edward Miller. Notice it says the sun is our nearest star. Remember, the sun is a star. At night, you can see a lot of stars because the sky is dark. When the sky is bright, you can also see a star. It is the sun. The sun is our daytime star. It's also the star closest to us. The sun is very big. It is much bigger than the earth. The sun is almost a million miles across. If earth was the size of a pea, the sun would be the size of a beach ball. I love that example and that model. So if that were the earth, that would be the size of the sun. So much bigger than our planet. The sun is very far away from us. It is much farther than the moon. A spaceship takes three days to reach the moon. It would take more than three years to reach the sun. So there's the earth and the moon, and that's about 240,000 miles away. And then there's the path to the sun, which is 93 million miles away. And remember, the sun is our nearest star. It takes eight minutes for light to travel from our daytime star to Earth. It takes four years for light from the nearest nighttime star to reach us. Most of the stars are much farther away than that. Hold on, let's, let's review that again. So when the sun here, our star that we see every day, starts to shine, it takes eight minutes for that light to get to us on Earth. It takes four years from any other star we can see, or the next closest star, it takes four years for that light to even get to our planet. Stars are made of hot gases. In the sun and other stars, there's iron, gold, copper, and tin. They are not solid as they are on Earth. All of them are gases because they are so hot. The temperature on the surface of the sun is more than 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature in a very hot oven is only 500 degrees. So if you're baking cookies or something in your oven at home, most of the time when we cook things in an oven at home, it's between 300 and 400 degrees, which is still extremely hot and would definitely burn you. But the sun is over 10,000 thousand degrees. We can't even begin to imagine that. The sun is so hot that a spaceship could not get close to it. If it ever did, the spaceship would literally burn up and change to gases. Oop. Without the sun, earth would be cold and dark. No plants would grow, no animals, no bugs, birds, or flowers. Nothing could live here. The sun keeps us alive. It makes corn grow and apples, wheat, and bananas. Animals eat these plants. We eat the plants and animals. They give us energy. So the energy in our food actually comes from the sun. We call that solar energy. Solar has to do with the sun. In Spanish, sol means sun. Millions of years ago, Earth was covered with swamps and jungles. As plants and animals grew, they stored solar energy. Think about it. As they're eating food, that energy is getting inside their bodies. Then when they died, they slowly changed into coal and oil. So ancient solar energy is stored in the coal and oil underground. Today, we use that stored up solar energy in coal, oil, and gasoline, which is made from oil, to fuel our cars and trucks, airplanes, and rockets. So all of those long ago dead plants and animals from millions of years ago kept that energy from the sun inside them because they ate plants and animals. 
And now we dig down under the ground to find them and find the things that their bodies made. And now we can use that to power a lot of things that we use. That's a form of energy. For millions of years, the sun has warmed our planet. It still does. It will keep shining bright and warm for many more millions of years. 